I'm a guy that's been so down bad with like deciding things. Like, like I think it was like, I don't know if it was a symptom of something, but like it could be like the easiest things. What am I going to eat? Like, where am I going to go? Like, oh, should I do that thing or should I do that thing? As soon as I started playing music, I couldn't decide how I want to sound like, oh, should I play with that guitar? Like I switched out guitars. Like, no, that guitar was bad. Oh, I need another guitar. Oh, I, I need the gear. Oh, it's like this anxiety driven thing that's like dependent on external objects or things and like different players and like to feel good and what you realize it's it's anxiety you're not really satisfied with just playing music you need that external validation and you need you need people accepting you and you need all this kind of stuff when I realized that I kind of just decided that okay I'm not gonna try to sound like 15 different guys trying to sound like 15 different guitar players won't make you better like mark my words, like you will get worse. It's overwhelming. Like instead of taking in what one person says, actually like processing one guitar player, you're trying to process like five different guitar players. It's not going to get into your playing. You're going to get overwhelmed. You're not going to be able to process it and you will 100% get overwhelmed and it's not going to work out then. The moment I decided to only listen to one guitar player, my life became so much better and my curve like in like improvising and like all the different stuff just went like sky j curve like just whoop i'm literally saying this because i think you will benefit from this start listening to only one guitar player and see what happens you're probably still like oh, who is that gonna be i like 10 different guitar players if you want to know who that guy is i think you know who that guy is like who is that guitar player that like you always go back to because peter bernstein was that guy for me like i was always like having him back in my mind like as that guitar player that I actually really really like but I kept like distracting myself with different other with other guitar players but then now when I just focus on him like when I focus on what he has to say it's a whole different thing so I think what you have to do is kind of stop distracting yourself from all the different guitar players have just take some time for yourself like if you can just go out in the woods just sit by yourself whatever look at a wall or just look out into nothing and just think about who you are as a guitar player. Think about who is it you want to sound like. And when I say who is it you want to sound like, it's not like you're going to steal that person's style or something. Because that's that's not going to happen. Like, I don't believe in those. I don't believe in people who are like, oh no, you should be yourself. You should be. When you're trying to copy someone, you're not going to be able to be like them. It's impossible. So you're automatically going to fail to copy them. And then you're going to find your own style within that. Focusing on one guitar player will automatically make it like a mentorship. Because of that, my guitar skills have become so much better. I feel like I'm more consistent with myself, my personality, everything feels so much better. You get this feeling of like, yeah, this is me. Like, yeah, this is how I play. This is how I am. Like, and that's, it's like, I've accepted that this is who I am. Like, this is what I love about playing music. This is like the style that I really love. And you know what? People will really, really like that. Like, people really respect that. And I've seen, like, I, I feel this difference in just, you get this, like, peace of mind that is just, okay, this is what I'm striving for. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like this, oh, I have 10 different people that I'm trying to sound. Like, it's not going to feel so, like, imagine sitting down with your guitar. It's going to feel so weird like who am i like what am what am i even like who's who's my inspiration and like how how am i gonna even like i wouldn't even know how to play notes if i wouldn't have like the one person that i would like kind of think about if you feel like you don't know who that person is try to find that mentor you know that mentor that's gonna teach you stuff about music and i really want you to like kind of Find that within you. Go out, go find some peace and think about this. Like go find peace of mind somewhere in the woods, wherever. Go to the lake, try to think about who that person is for you. And now you will have so much more freedom in yourself and in your playing and 
your personality will benefit from this. I'm not saying you shouldn't listen to like someone's been like, be like, but I listen to 15 different players and I I'm successful in this. Like if you're anything like me, then you're gonna benefit from only listening to one, maybe two guitar players. Our brains can't take in more. Our brains get overwhelmed if we're thinking about too many things. We're like we have that ADHD brain, you know. For me, listening to one guitar player is like the best thing for my like overwhelmed brain. You know what I'm saying? It's been so good for me. Like start limiting what you take in. Go within yourself and try to find that answer. It's going to be the best thing for your brain. And then you go after that guy and you try to get lessons with him and you try to do whatever you can to get that spirit inside of you and your playing and you will be so thankful that you did. Major minor 251s in the description. It was nice hanging with you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.